just took shots. Were you thinking, you know, just give me a six yard gain here? Just give me a six yard. Uh, once we got to the 40, I knew I had a chance, so I was just, you know, locked in, ready to go. Did you feel like you were hitting the ball well all day today? It looked like. Yeah, it felt good pregame, halftime, you know, throughout the game. So um, everything was good. Operation was good. And Liam and Bradley has been money all year. Uh, without them, the kick doesn't go in. So, um, you know, they've, they've been money and the protection was good. And it does take everybody. You know, offense has to get down there. Um, and our defense did a great job, you know. Um, so it was a team win for sure. Raheem said y'all had a practice drive on Friday that mimicked that pretty closely. Yeah, I mean, we have too many situations in practice pretty much every week. Um, so just going through the pr preparation of it, that process. Um, so just, you know, doing that on the sideline today as we work throughout the week. Yeah, we always talk about winning in three phases, and then often that third phase is you. But to get a special teams touchdown as well today from Kadero, you had the four field goals, the 58 yarder. What does it say about you guys being able to have that complete performance as that third unit? Yeah, it takes everybody, you know, offense, defense, special teams, and got, you know, I was just saying the special teams plays, you know, there's a guaranteed kickoff and a kickoff return. Nothing else is guaranteed. So every time we get on the field, we try to make the best of that opportunity. Was that the distance that you want it, or would you want it like a little bit closer? Um, it doesn't matter as long as we're, you know, on that side of the field and just give us a chance. So it was, it was good. Did you yeah. kick a field goal at the end of that practice drive on Friday? Um, I did not. You didn't? You I did not. We just went through the process. The yeah, we just always go through the process, go out there, and um, whether it's, a, you know, we clock is stopped or not, you know, it's a running clock, those things, we just go through the preparation mentally. Yeah, 58 yard kick to win the game. I know you talked about it earlier, but can you just sort of walk me through what was going on in your mind before you made that kick and when you got out there on the field? Yeah, I was just going through the preparation um, on the sideline, just kicking some into the net, uh, making sure the contact was good, and I felt good, and just go out there and just trust the training that I've done. It seems like this has become a habit for you, kicking game winning games. Like, do you even feel pressure when you get out of those situations? How you've done them so far? Um, try to, you know, go on the frustration that you worked on. Um, we've been in this situation a lot. And that's, you know, that's how it is in this league. A lot of the games, majority of the games in this league comes down to one possession games. So every point matters. Um, and our unit takes, you know, a lot of pride in that. And uh, I'm proud of the guys for coming through. With the offense struggling like they did today, it really depended on you to make those kicks today. Uh, or were you, were you kind of getting the vibe out there on the sideline that, you know, hey, I might be needed a little bit more today? Um, no, I mean, I don't think offense struggled. You know, we, we had to get in the red zone and getting scoring positions and all that stuff. So at the end of the day, we scored more points than them. So um, I think we did a great job. At the end of the game, I saw Terry Fontenot kind of give you a hug, and uh, you guys were celebrating there. What did he say to you at the end? Yeah, you know, you know we're just excited, man. Every time we get we get to win in this league, um, you know, we get to celebrate for a little bit. It's a short week. Um, um, enjoy for a little bit and just, you know, get ready for Thursday night. Um, you know all along that it was I'm good. I'm not sure. I it came off my foot. I felt pretty good, and I I don't think I looked at it to go through the operation. What's the longest you've ever kicked? You know, in the game, uh, in practice, 65 or something like that. So you know, um, our confidence in the you know distance of the kick. I wasn't really worried about that. As long as I make a contact, I knew how to look. Did you hope they get a little closer? Or you felt did you feel good once you saw the pass interference penalty that you were going to get a shot at it? Yeah, I mean we had an opportunity there as soon as we got on that 40 yard line. I knew we had a chance. So um, you know, just mentally locking in and getting ready to go. How early do you start to lock in like that? Um, as soon as they scored. Um, I knew we had less than a minute, but we got on offense and uh, that can move down the field pretty quickly as we've done on Monday night in Philly. Um, I had all, all the confidence that we'll get in range and um, I'm, you know, I was just getting ready to go. Hey, on a macro level, the NFL this season with the kickers and the 50-yard field goals on a record pace, what do you attribute that to? Um, better over the years? I think it is, you know, credit to all the kickers across the league just raising the bar, elevating the game overall. You know, I mean, guys are making it, and, um, you know, you just – that's the standard now. So, um, you you know, you get back to your craft, work on it so that, um, you know, you meet that standard that all the guys have been elevating to. Great way to win your first division game. I'm sorry? First division game. Yeah, I mean, it was big. We got two more coming up. Um, these games are huge. Um, and our guys showed up, you know, offense, defense, defense, special teams, and it was good to get a win. All right, thanks, y'all. Today, you guys didn't score any touchdowns yeah. offensively, but you moved the ball relatively well. What did you guys see out there offensively as a whole? Uh, I would say from just uh, memory, we have to be better um, as far as uh, getting down the field and um, scoring the ball. Like we got to put some points on the on the uh, board and um, 
doesn't matter how many you know great names and great players that we do have. We have to go out there and do our job and put points on the board to help our defense because they play well every week. So to reward them, we got to put some points on the board. You catch that pass if it's not pass interference, right? Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Time of possession was another struggle for you guys yep. again today. Is that something you guys or how do you guys fix that going forward against Tampa in a short week? Um, that that comes from you know having being in front of the sticks, not being behind, having those you know bad penalties. And uh, just being able to just play good football. And right now we're not playing the best of football. We're, we were able to win this game. I mean, happy about it. Um, quick turnaround this week against uh, Tampa Bay. And uh, these games are mandatory. These are games are, you know, uh, games that we have to have. Obviously, we want Kansas City. We want Pittsburgh. We want those games. But uh, these, these definitely division games are mandatory. And you mentioned that in that first question. But getting into the end zone instead of yep. having those drives flutter there. Is it as simple as, you know, we just got to be better in the red zone, or is there something a little bit more to that? Uh, I mean, penalties kind of hurt us a lot today. I mean, we were behind the sticks a lot, and um, that's not that's not good football. Um, I think every time we have a our first drive is always so smooth and so, okay, the, this is what this team can look like. This is what this offense can look like. And um, if we can go out there and do that every time, I mean, Nobody can stop us. Darnell, we've been talking about how third downs have been an issue for yep. this team the first couple of games. You guys were able to have some success on third down today. How much is that a step in the right direction? Uh, it's a very, very good step. I mean, everything's a process. And um, uh, like you said, it's a good step in, the, step in the right direction. Going back to the divisional conversation, this is the first of three straight since so Big Stretch. You called it mandatory. But just to get this one against the Saints, yep, yep. why is that huge? Um, I mean, we take care of these guys. We'll take care of the rest of everybody else. And um, uh, like I said, we can go back to the first game of the season. Nobody even thinks about that, how, how the offense, you know, played that, that way in uh, Kansas City, you know. Uh, we knew we could win that game. And, uh, I mean, there's no more victories in this league. But um, at the end of the day, we got to, like I said, these games are mandatory. Take care of these three. Uh, yeah, these next three. And uh, we're sitting good. We're sitting good. Did you see the flag right away? Okay. How much confidence do you have in Young Waiku when you see him getting ready to keep oh, your Oh, very, a lot of confidence. I mean, he does it in practice. He, he's been doing it since uh, I've been in the lead. I've been watching from afar. So um, a lot of confidence. I mean, once they, once they, Chris caught the ball in the middle of the field, we knew that they were going to, you know, take time off the clock. And, um, I mean, they were going to be up by one score. And it was like, all we got to do is just go down and get a field goal. And, um, I mean, Ku is, uh, his range is pretty far, so. On that left. You were going to get a flag on that. Uh, yeah. Flag. On uh, the way the ball was sitting in the air, I knew um, I was going to be have to, I was going to have to, you know, draw something. And, um, but uh, I was able to, you know, make a, a Debo, you know, push me a little earlier than um, he wanted to, so. I'm sorry, walk me through that. What do you mean the way the ball was sitting in the air and you knew you were going to have to do uh, that? So the ball was just sitting in the air a little uh, longer than, you know, expected. And um, as far as, like, me just sitting there running up under it, um, it, just sitting, it just sat in the air. And um, I was able to just draw a PI, so. So at that point, your decision-making sort of changes yeah. from, I'm going to make this catch yeah. to, I'm going to put myself in a position. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I can try to catch it, but as far as if he tries to hit me earlier, I just have to flash my hands a little earlier to him to be like, oh, I have to try to, you know, hit the ball out. And the ball wasn't coming right then, so I was like, he just hit me earlier. How long in your career did it take you to figure stuff like that out? Uh, it's, I've, it's been something I've been working on a long time. And, um, I mean, it, it worked today, so. That's amazing. Yeah. So you see, you know that the, you're probably not going to make the catch. Yeah, yeah. You, you deke him into thinking it's here. Yep, yep. So they'll get him to go after you. No doubt, no doubt. Don't know. All four of these games, one things. score came yeah, down to a final player. drive. You yep. guys are two and two in those situations. How would you evaluate you guys as an offense in those final drive yeah. situations? Uh, I would say, I would say we're decent. I would say the drive before that one, if we just take care of the ball in that four-minute situation, uh, I would call us dominant. But right now, we're not there yet. Like, I mean, obviously it's cool to go down there, you know, get the field goal. But if we take care of business, the drive before that, we don't get in that situation. It would be nice to, you know, just win the game instead of, you know, all that. All the rah rahness at the end of the game. You've been in situations like this before where yep. you guys start out, the first four games aren't going to be masterpieces, it's going to be a process. How would you describe when you stockpile wins while you guys are still figuring things out compared oh. to you struggling to get those done? That's huge. That's, that'd be huge. I mean, obviously, we're all trying to still mesh together, understand each other. Uh, Kirk is trying to understand the, the, the receivers, the way they move, and all that. You know, Z Rob is trying to, you know, understand the identity of our offense. and. We're still trying to figure these things out, but you know, winning games on top of that, and then 
Like you get to those December games, and when those games, those games matter the most. And once you get in that flow of uh, the identity, who we are, that's what matters for sure. Finishing drives off and scoring in the red zone. How do you guys, as an offensive line, is it different as a as an overall unit to to get past those red zone woes and maybe overcome some of those penalties to get in the end zone? Yeah, we just know we got to work as a unit um, together as one. You know, kind of even on like those third downs. You know, just kind of know where where everybody's going, being on the same page, and uh, you know, it'll, it'll do our jobs and hopefully success will come with that. You guys were like, here on the field goal unit. Yeah. What was it like being on the field if you watching that kick Oh, never a doubt. I mean, there, I think Koo had a couple last year, so, I mean, he's one of the best in the league, so, never a doubt. Were you running around screaming, or what was your Of course you celebrate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, It's really tough to win in this league, so, you got to enjoy it. Yeah. Storm, you all did a good job moving the ball through the air, but this was kind of the second game in a row where the run game, like, average-wise, wasn't, I think, where you guys would like it to be. How do you have to keep emphasizing that part of the game? You know, we just got to keep building trust in the system. You know, it's it's a long season, so you know, we just got to keep focusing on the the process of coming with that. You know, building equity and you know certain types of runs, and uh, you know, just taking everyone as as it comes and, and go from there. Do y'all feel like a string of these close games against good teams early in the season is going to set you all up well for later in the year when you know? Hopefully you guys are right in the mix of it and there's going to be a lot of impactful games. No doubt. Yeah, I mean, setting yourself up for stuff like that in the early in the season, you know, kind of battle testing yourself as a team is, is going to pay pay dividends. Um, but then again, it's sometimes we don't need to make it so hard on ourselves, you know. <laughs> but, uh, it, you know, you got to take the win and, and learn from it and roll from there. Interception ball, like things like that, you got to cherish. You know, it's, it's hard in the NFL to get an interception, let alone uh, pick six. So I made sure he got the ball. Like it was a great play. Very excited for him. So you went and found it. You made sure that Troy got the made ball. Sure. Where'd you find it? Where'd he actually it? threw it. It bounced like towards the fans. So I had to scramble over there, get it real quick, to make sure he had that. So. You were one of the first guys to, to run up to him when, uh, to celebrate. What were you saying to him? I was like, I can't really say what I want to say. <laughs> but I was like, no, good job. Yeah, I was like, good job, Troy. Good job, Troy. Let's go. Let's go. But you know, once, once we got to the sidelines, I told him, "Hey, look, now we got to go out and do it again." So, yeah. Yeah. you had your first career sack. Were you aware when you when you got that? Was I? And I was very aware, man. Like yeah. that special, it's special. Uh, we wrote that play all that practice, and I just kept coming free, coming free at practice. And for Coach to call that play, that means you know he trusts me. And for me to be able to get that sack in a, a critical down, is big. Oh man, like you said, we got to get ahead of recovery. Um, like you said, we got still got people around here right now uh, trying to get ahead for the Thursday. Uh, he said, you know, get ready for Tampa. You know, it's a, another big game that, you know, we got to step up as a full unit and get that dub. The fourth and goal pass in the end of the press breakup, kind of what was your, how did you, how did that play unfold for you? Um, see, they called a the timeout. So we kind of seen they, how they aligned before they called a the timeout. And it was a look that we got at practice from the scout team. So I kind of was a step ahead and knew, like, you know, uh, we're, we're, we're received, we're finna do. Um, just by communication with my brothers, uh, we was able to play fast on that play, and I was able to get a you know a big pass break up. What does it feel like before that play happens of knowing if this happens like we've repped it? it it's kind of hard to explain, but it's like, hey man, it's a gotta have a situation. It's one on one. You gotta win your matchup. Um, and words of NFL players are how you get paid. So you gotta keep on you know making those big plays. So. What did you see from Alvin to where you were able to be pretty successful against him today? Um, I knew once they motioned him out, I uh, knew they had a play call going for him. So, you know, I trusted my technique and trusted what the coaches uh, coached us to do all week and I made the play. What's been so good about this defense this year? Kirk earlier this week was talking about how you guys have consistently been able to give them an opportunity to help win the game as well. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're a tight knit group and um, we're, I, I think it's safe to say we're a bend but don't break type of group. And, um, you know, when things go bad, we all kind of lean on each other and, uh, you know, just count on the man next to us to do, do their job and uh, vice versa. So, um, like I said, tight-knit group. We all trust each other, uh, playing with confidence, just flying around, having fun. First of three straight divisional matchups for this team. How critical was it to get off to a good start, especially with a quick game coming up on Thursday? Super critical. I mean, like I said earlier, it's hard to get wins in this league. So, um, you know, any way we can get, especially a divisional win, is, is definitely huge. So, um, like I said, uh, any way we can get it, uh, we will take it. When you're watching that kick come off the foot of Young Way Koo, what is going through your head? Uh, I had all the confidence in the world in him. Uh, he made all his kicks uh, you know, prior to that one, and um, I kind of knew it was on the money. So, uh, you know, I had all the confidence in the world in him. Mike, first four weeks of the season often can be a work in progress. How do you describe what it's like going through that process when you're winning games as opposed to struggling to get those wins? 
Um, yeah, I mean, it's still a learning curve. Um, we're, we're still trying to figure out how to put everything together and win games uh, and put every, everything together as a team uh, in all three phases. So, uh, you know, once we continue to do that, I think we, we, we could be really dangerous. D had himself a game. What do you think was working for him? Uh, we all know what D so uh, once, he, once he settles in and gets comfortable and start making plays, um, it, it's a huge thing for us. You ever been to a Falcons Saints game? You been I have not, you have actually. Not. Okay. No. Growing up around here, I thought, so. thought, thought, thought maybe you had. No, I hadn't. But you know what this game means to everybody. Most so definitely. This is, you full of and I think Coach Rouge, I think, emphasized it before the game. He was like, this is the game that we picked the rosters for. And, like, we picked the rosters for winning the Saints game and winning these conference games. And we're talking about need to take over the South, need to run the South, and that's the objective. And we're 1-0 for that. Place got pretty rowdy in there, and it re kind of reminded me of the Georgia Dome. And, yeah, and, and, we, and, and really, we're still breaking this building in, mm -hmm. but I, we kind of felt it the other day. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, the whole city is backing us, and you couldn't be more excited for it, and we appreciate it. And I mean, it's just an unbelievable opportunity. JD, I know you're a rookie, and you've just kind of been waiting for an opportunity to get on the field. I've noticed you at the practice facility, just constantly studying, constantly looking at film. What's been huge in your preparation and getting ready for this moment? Today? Yeah, I think for me, it's just going about my business. Like like I know how to. I've had really good mentors throughout my time just kind of talk to me how they go about it. And I mean, I think looking forward, we're playing a Thursday night game. It's something that I've never prepared for. So I'll talk to the guys in our linebacker room. I'll talk to other guys throughout the league that I know and just see how they go about their process for Thursday games. And how critical is it to watch and learn from those linebackers in that room? I mean, it's, it's incredible. I mean, you see Troy flying around out there and Caden with his experience and especially the different dynamics each of them bring. I mean, I think it's an unbelievable opportunity for me just to learn from them. First interception, first touchdown for Troy of his entire career, and you were there to witness it. How happy were you to watch uh, I was so excited. Once he got the ball, like, Troy runs a 4-4, you knew that he was going to be in the end zone, and that's what he did. And it was also an unbelievable play by Judon. Judon got the tip and then also got the block.